our first cross-country mad dash of the week. Um, you want to talk a little Hertz is what I've been told. Yep. yep. Uh, Steve Sherwood was a very successful, obviously, CFO at Goldman Sachs for a long time. We know him. It's three decades there. Then went to Hertz a couple years ago. Uh, had a vision that maybe what he could be doing is uh, trading cars, just like he traded stocks, uh, uh, trading uh, like, like you trade bonds. It didn't work. The strategy to be able to make it so you take down, and by the way, he had been, the company had put in big orders for EV. The EVs, maybe he was the first casual game, you tell me. The EVs depreciated rapidly, which therefore made it so that uh, his fleet of Teslas was worth less than he thought. Maybe he thought that they would go up in value. Anyway, so he's leaving. Gil West is coming in. He's uh, former COO of, of, of uh, Delta, terrific guy. And, but it is, David, frankly, a defeat. Uh, it was initially very exciting, but the idea that you could somehow make it so you can trade cars like you can trade stocks and bonds did not work, and it was not fun for Stephen. That did matter. He was hoping to have a great time. His skill set was not uh, correct in the end. Saw slowing in EVs, moving on. David, it's a shame because I, I thought Steve was going to do unbelievably well with this strategy. I, too, did not see the decline in value of the Teslas that hurt his company so much. Yeah, well, you've talked about it. We have as well. Of course, that was a faithful decision um, to to go big in that area. And as to your point, the uh, when the values declined in the used car market, that that had negative consequences. They've had so many different people run this company over the last ten years, Jim. Yeah, it's it, it's just not worked for anybody. Remember, it didn't go bankrupt, but it stayed. Yes. The stock continued to trade. Uh, David, I think it's just a very tough business. Uh, and because, remember, travel do, has done well. Uh, we've seen cruise ships do very well. American Express, obviously, doing very well. Hotel chains doing very well. There's a, Expedia done okay. Uh, Bookings does really well. This did not uh, take part in the great travel resurgence after COVID. And I think that maybe if you had just focused on that and not, not trading on cars, might might have been fun. But that's not what he went there for. He didn't go there to run a travel company. He went there to do fleet management. That had been a great idea until the fleet depreciated, and then there was just not much of a strategy for him to, uh, let's say, take advantage of. Yeah, the, the fleet was not managed the way that uh, he'd hoped. No, no it wasn't. Didn't, didn't quite work out.